We're here with uh, head softball coach Penny Sakaro. Uh, Penny, uh, your season uh, ended obviously a little bit earlier than what you would have liked last weekend at the Salisbury Regional. Uh, how about a recap of that regional? You know, John, uh, you know what's ironic is we were one and two on the weekend, but two out of the three ball games were played very well. Uh, the game against Kane, uh, solid win, six to one. Um, definitely played very well, had timely hitting, our pitching was strong, and our defense took care of business as well. The game against Christopher Newport was a tremendous ball game. You know, granted, we wanted to come out with the W of that ball game. However, um, you know, in speaking with, uh, you know, several coaches, including uh, Keith Parr, the opposing coach, he said that CNU played, uh, you know, the game of their year um, against us. And, um, you know, my hat's off to them. Uh, it, they took probably about six or seven hits away from us in key situations with runners in scoring position by making diving plays. And, you know, again, my hat's off to CNU in regards to the level of competition that they played that day. Um, you know, the score doesn't reflect the intensity of the ball game. I know the walk-off kind of put the, the run differential looking a little bit more strongly than uh, the game actually, um, you know, was unfolding. But uh, it was a great ball game. I was proud of our women. They fought. It was a, it was a intense ball game. Um, we were exchanging, you know, punches um, left and right, and uh, just on the back end, seeing you came out on top. And um, you know, so in regards to that CNU game, it was a great ball game. Kane was a great ball game. Um, Rowan, you know, we could have been better. It's unfortunate that we didn't have our strongest game. Um, you know, be the elimination game, but we, you know, gave away some opportunities. We had some chances to come back and, and make it happen, and we took advantage of those. It's just we could not recover off of the mistakes that we made, and uh, unfortunately that ended our season. And, and Ruins a very solid team, so I was happy for them and, and a little bit bummed for us. But overall it was a solid, solid regional, even though the 1-2 and two record doesn't reflect uh, the level of play that we put out in the ball field. You know, looking back, a final record of 41-4-1, obviously a, a number of uh, great team and individual accomplishments on the year, something you have to be proud of. Yeah, you know, John, huge. I mean, we, it was a historic year. Um, not only did we set, a, you know, a, a record for most wins, um, you know, in the regular season, which is, you know, 40 wins on the year, regular season is huge. Uh, we had the longest, uh, you know, winning streak from the first game until we ended up taking on a loss. Uh, we had three All-Americans named in Bridget Holloway, Jessica Thomas, and Megan Light, which is phenomenal. We've never had three All-Americans named in one year. Uh, five, uh, you know, all-region players. We had the UAA Rookie of the Year, the Conference Player of the Year, the MVP, co-MVPs of the conference tournament. We set a, a conference tournament record batting average, um, team home run record, individual home run record, individual RBI record. Um, and the incredible part about it is we're young. Uh, there are times, uh, you know, on the field that we had five freshmen playing. So we're returning everybody with the exception of, you know, one, you know, full-time starter and one part-time starter. And we're just real excited about, you know, the potential of this program into the future and just very, very happy with what we accomplished this year. And I think for anyone to come away and say, well, gosh, you didn't make it to the World Series, of course, you know, we wanted to, to advance that far, yet we cannot, it does not strip away from all these you know hours of hard work that our women put forth in order in order to have a, a record-breaking year so just um, happy for our ladies and um, just it, it was an incredible year you know talk about you, you mentioned you had three all-americans uh, this past this, this past year mm -hmm. just talk about you know their play from this past season what they meant to the program sure uh, well we'll start from the top you know Bridget Holloway did an exceptional job on the mound um, you know, stifling big opponents, whether it was Moravian, who, you know, was in regional, Piedmont, um, she shut them down a couple times, who advanced to the championship game of their regional. Uh, she, she beat a lot of teams, Washington University. She blanked twice, um, helping us, you know, run rule them and, um, you know, beat them eight to nothing, um, uh, both games. She, she just was clutch, very steady, uh, you know, across the nation gave up, you know, the fewest walks per seven innings um, in the United States, and she was just a, a force to be reckoned with. 
the amazing thing is she was hurt. So even though she got hurt probably about 60% of the way through the year, she still managed to come back and, and, and make contributions on the back end of the year, even though she wasn't 100% healthy. So we're anxious to get her back next year um, and hopefully keep her 100% healthy throughout the year. Jessica Thomas, you know, banged some home runs, uh, clutch hits, hit some of the better pitchers in the country, and is just just incredibly excited that she's going to come back for a senior year. But she and Megan Light were both clutch hitters in key situations, and they both played well with one another in the lineup. Each each hitter made each other better, so excited they'll be coming back. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for your time. It was a great year, and we'll be catching up with you later. Okay. Thanks, John.